the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Hello. Welcome to the podcast, TNT. Hello, Jonas. Welcome to the podcast, Jonas. <laughs> so, uh... Why, thank you. I've I've never felt so welcome. Uh, So, some people in the world are stupid. And I wanted you to know that. I mean, I'll I'll stop you when you're wrong. (laughs) So, there was a a man. He stumbled across a website. Yeah. It was called rentahitman.com. Oh, another one of these, huh? It was, it was like, I think I read, I don't remember exactly. It was like. It was, uh, oh, let's see, uh, started the website in 2005 with friends from an IT program. The group wanted to start a security, a computer cert security company, but never did. And, and then, so then he forgot about the website and then he went on and whatever. So this guy who was a national guardsman in mm. Tennessee mm-hmm. stumbles across the site. His name is Josiah Ernesto Garcia. He literally like mm. reached out and was like, Hey, you looking for a hit man? <laughs> and they and they like turned it into the FBI <laughs> and he and like when they offered him five thousand dollars to kill someone and he accepted they arrested him and now yeah. he's going to jail for that yeah so like yeah okay that's how that works I understand that this really exists there are people out there who will kill people for money yeah but you usually got to go to the dark web well, for that. that's what i mean like so what guy go is like just surf he's like surfing the webs like rent a hitman i'm like he's like that sounds like a really good idea run a hitman.com that sounds like I, I mean i could be out there killing folks for money and then you like reach out like hey do you, do you realize that before google we had to actually type that kind of stuff in to find it what do you mean like the rent a hit man who t- you like you just said who the hell types that in yeah i don't know if he was like on the website like i want to kill people for money <laughs> like help how do i find it? and then you rent know, a hitman comes that's up that's the thing is because like do you, okay picture a world pre-google because i was thinking about this i was like oh i know of the world pre-google who the metacrawler hell? baby <laughs> Who the hell uses like a website? I couldn't even tell you the last time I've been to a website. I mean, I mean like besides like a restaurant. You do or it all the time for news and stuff. Click on an article, it takes you to their website. You just don't go I to mean, the website to search for the article. Yeah. I it, mean, I guess, but I don't necessarily like. I remember when I was like younger and the internet was newer. There would be I, like, you go through a cycle of websites. Like, I'm going to go check out ESPN's website. Check out the news. I'm going to go to this website. Check out the news or whatever. When I was a kid, I was not looking at ESPN or, in the or, news. Or I used to go <laughs> uh, right, chathouse.com. It was a bunch of HTML-based chat rooms. Mm-hmm. Like, and you'd be like, I'm going to go to the chat house and see who's talking today. Like, as a kid. Yeah, but did you ever, like, how would you randomly look up something? Like, it was the internet. And, like, I understand it was like... I used to ask friends for websites they used to go to. Like, it used to be like, what's a cool website, bro? And they'd be like, oh, dude, E-Bombs World. Go there. There's a bunch of cool videos. Yeah. Okay. Like, go to or, uh, mm-hmm. New... Uh, underground. New new ground. New grounds. New grounds. Go to New Grounds. Look at Flash videos. Like, whatever. And yeah. you would find these sites and you would just go and be like, oh my god, somebody put new content up? And then now you just Google what you want and all the websites come up. That's the thing. It's like, I, could, I couldn't even tell you the last time I've typed like anything specific in that in that bar besides just like, let me find something. Yeah, unless something you're going to like with... Chili's.com to look up what you want from Chili's or yeah. something. Yeah. No, no, I feel you. Like, I don't I don't do that very much either. Like, because we still essentially, like, you know, we'll just, like, type in what we're looking for. I'm looking up for a garlic recipe. Right. And then it's a billion. But you don't go to, like, recipes.com and type in garlic recipe. You mm-hmm. type in Google, and then you pick from the choice. It's so wow. funny. We have, we have come to the point now where searching for something on the internet is called Googling it. Yeah. Like, it's not. E- There's other search engines. <laughs> that, <laughs> bing it. That, yeah, bing it. Duck, just duck, bing go it. it. That's the one everyone who's a conspiracy theorist uses because they're like, Google's too strong. Duck, duck, go is privacy. Like, they're all, it's all anonymous. Like, it doesn't, tra- has no tracking, period. Really? Yeah, duck, it's duck, duck, I think it's duck, duck, go. And, like, you can actually use it as an aggregator to, like, there's there's a way you can sign up that you search through that to get somewhere else and it, like, it, it, uh. I've never heard of duck, duck, go. Oh, yeah, that's like the conspiracy theorist, like, website oh it's like the the maga the maga search no 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 the alt-right search engine no it's not that it's not the kkk it's not it's not like nazis yes it's the nazi search engine (laughs) 
Adolf Hitler's on here. Duck, duck, go logo is just Hitler drinking a mimosa. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, it's 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 interesting that uh, like I, yeah, I'm like, how did this guy is he is he googling like I want to murder for money or like what, I don't understand. But the other thing that'd be like that would be like someone being like, I want some crack. Yep. Where let's buy crack and there's a website called buycrack.com and they're like this is a great idea let me just place an order and have it shipped to my house and like how would you go to runahitman.com and be like this is legit I, I don't know how you think yeah, exactly Ex and honestly this it, this happens so much where people think they can just get a hitman off of like Craigslist or off of the internet or something and they get caught up and you know it always leads the cops back to you your search history. Yeah, Brother. I mean, or they catch you straight up admitting that you want to do, commit murder for money, you want to, yeah. or you want to kill or someone sting for money. Or sting operation. Yeah, it's either sting op operation or your search history. Yeah, and it's, it's crazy to, to think about the fact that they can look up every everything you've looked at because your yeah. search history is infinitum. Oh yeah, and uh, and they also know like 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 I guarantee if someone searched me on the internet. Somehow, some way, you would come up as a possible acquaintance. Oh yeah, because somehow. they know like anyone who's lived at the same address as you, or like whatever, or like friends of friends of friends. I'm like, I, like I still like the. I, I'm not a conspiracy theorist at all, but the 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 little deep dark conspiracy theorist part of me says that the only reason social media was created was to help people get caught. Because you network That's what all, it's done. all of the people that you know. So if so if like you decided you want to go murder someone, the first thing they do is go to your Facebook and see who the hell you're friends with and start reaching out to all those mother efforts because you're probably contacting one of them to help you get yep. away. So first thing that a, that a police officer is going to look at was look at his social media profile. Yep. 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 Yeah. So it's it's just it's interesting, like. Um, yeah, it's 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 pretty crazy, man. It's it's I don't I just I don't know how this man. I don't could, know why why did he want her dead? What'd she do? Oh, I don't know. No, he wanted to he he applied to be a hitman. Oh, he wanted to be a hitman. Yeah, he was like, I'll sign up to kill people for money. <laughs> like he didn't try to he didn't try to. So then they got back to him and they were like, Oh yeah, we have someone who's willing to use you. We'll give you five thousand oh, dollars to do this. And he's, I that he was trying to rent a hitman. He wanted to be a hitman. He wanted to be one of the hitmen. He tried to apply oh. to be a hitman. He thought it was wait, hold that hold up now. Does that make it worse? Minute. Yeah, it makes it different. I thought he was just an asshole was trying to murder somebody. No, no, he wanted to sign up to help people out. Well, look, you had a you had a website. I thought it was a legit business. <laughs> He's like, I was applying for a job. Poor guy. He was just trying to keep his family fed. Yeah, I had you. I what was the interview process. Hey, I would like to apply for a job. All right, you're hired. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're, like, like, they're like Sally Smith. Here's 5K. He's like, awesome. All right. And we, then he like go here to kill her. And then they they show it's like Chris Hansen, but like yeah, not pedophile stuff. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, are all my papers in order? <laughs> my license? I'm good to like, go. They're like, fax us your passport. And you're like, okay. Yeah, license to kill, all that handle, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, they're like Jose. What was I don't remember what his name was. Lice, <laughs> dash license to kill, LTK. It's like instead of like MBA after your name, it's LTK license oh to kill. Oh my god! Like dude. Steven Seagal, license to kill. I would like one of those. A license to kill? Yeah, I wouldn't use it. I'd like. I mean, you just go get a hunting license, then you have a license to kill. Oh, I don't want to kill animals. So I just want to kill people. <laughs> oh, hunting humans, the ultimate game. I don't want to kill people. With that being said, that was a joke. I don't want to kill people you or animals. You should joke about murder. No, uh, that's subjective, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I feel like you have to joke about something like that because it's inevitable. I feel like you have to joke about almost everything in the world because if you take everything too serious, like your life is hell, man. You got to be able to like take things in jest. Yeah. I feel like I'd be the guy that have something tragic happen to him and I'd be I'd joke about it. To try to like lighten oh, it up. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, definitely. like you know, like oh well, that's uh, uh, da, 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 da. like, and there's everyone's like, it's kind of <laughs> awkward, bro. And I'm just like, <laughs> look at me, I'm a. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to put anything in the universe. That's why I'm not. Know, that's why I'm not right? saying anything because I'll be like, if I say something ignorant, and then tomorrow the ignorant thing's gonna happen to me. I'm gonna you be like, end up with freaking da, 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 yeah, disease. Yeah, da, 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 
is gonna happen to me. Like, look at me. I have do, 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 do now. Like, yeah, dude, I ain't down with that. It makes it so that every fourth word you have to say is do, 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 yeah. Do, do, do. Like, and the name of this episode should be do, 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 do. no one will listen to it. They'll have no idea what we're talking about. So, anyways, go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. Yeah, thank you. Well,